What's going on, Savages? Thanks for tuning back in. Today we got an extra special perspective. We got a uh, some light shed on, on because I know a lot of you guys hit me with questions. You guys want to know basically what the other perspective is and basically what the other car consists of, what it's about, who's in it, et cetera, how the politics go. So we're going to just try to open up. My man's going to shed some light right here, give some game. Uh, much respect. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Let me stop talking. Yeah, my name is P, like the letter. Um, I did 13 years all together, 12 in state, 10 years straight, another two, and then I did a year in, in feds. Uh, but yeah, I'm from Denver, Colorado. Okay. Um, and obviously you ran other, right? Is there any specific, uh, group that you ran with inside of other or is other just other and it doesn't matter? Yeah. Other is other. Um, it can be any type of Asians. Islanders, and then uh, guys like that could be from other races that roll with others or that are like in other gangs, like Asian gangs or whatever, uh, whatever they can roll other if they want to. Um, sometimes Puerto Ricans, sometimes, um, no, a lot of the times like Indians, like from India. Yeah. And Arabs. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I don't, I don't know how like the inner workings go, but is there like some kind of a uh, organ organized uh, politicking going on? Is there somebody, is there like a, a shot caller for you guys? Is there, how does that even work? How does a, how does an issue get addressed to the other car and get handled <clears throat> if it's not the yeah. same exactly as the other ones, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are a lot of your basic um, same nuances as other cars, uh, now in the state and feds, there's there's little differences, but in the state, you can go to a place where there is a particular rep, but everybody comes together more on like uh, a kinsmanship, but uh, paperwork is checked, you know, no um, chomos or no tomfoolery or whatever. Um, so yeah, that as soon as you hit the yard, the rep or whatever is going that they're immediately going to ask you that and tell you that, you know, if we find out, cause we will find out, you already know what happens, you know? Yeah. And so, uh, there's that. And, um, yeah, it just, it just differs like in the state, like in, in the state Islanders and Asians usually roll together, but sometimes they might not want to because there could be an islander in a gang so they'll just roll their gang um in the feds uh yeah everybody comes together there's there's usually one rep he handles all the you know the the um politics and all of that nonsense but sometimes you can also have it separate to where if the islanders don't want to roll with the asians they don't have to but that's rarely the case because if this does happen, it's because they're vying for power. One Asian or one Islander oh, wow. want to be for that whole car. Yeah. Wow. Um, I was actually just going to ask you: Is there like a, is there is there this uh, somewhere some way of like cannibal cannibalizing each other? Right. You know how like a lot of other organizations will turn in on themselves and they'll do what's uh what's coined a uh, uh, cleanup. Right. They'll do cleaning up within the within their own car or whatever like that. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that had to have uh, had some kind of existence in the other car as well, right? Some kind of like uh, making sure everybody was operating to a certain standard, maybe a certain moral. And if that moral or standard was violated, um, what, what, what was the cleanup like? Was it just like the same thing, two on one, three on one type of thing, removal from a yard? Uh, is, it as, is it as final as let's say Southsiders are when they remove one of theirs? Does um, it go from prison to prison or is it just from one yard? Yeah, so it's not as extreme. It can be based on the circumstances. Like if, if they're a, a chomo or something like that, or they're in some major indictment where you have five of the guys saying, uh, and they have paperwork and they're like, yeah, that's the guy. It can definitely get, um, get ugly. But yeah. usually if it's just something minor, you know, we're, we're scarce in numbers. So we try and look out for each other um, you know, we'll, we won't resort to violence unless it's like absolutely necessary. We have other ways that we can, um, you know, keep them in line or keep them in check, but we do make sure everybody's programming right. Nobody's driving the car into a wreck. 
and uh, yeah, just stuff like that. But we're able to, it's not as strict as far as politics on our end because we can deal with everybody. It's not like I can't go and eat out of, I can't eat out of another race's bowl or some nonsense like that. Like I can yeah. spread with yeah. another race or anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's little differences, you know yeah. what I mean? No, it's a good, it's a good difference in my opinion. But uh, anyways, um, so programming with the others and, and, and just trying to just basically, cause I've programmed around others. I just feel like maybe I was just on just different. We're such different, um, you know, sides of the, of the view. You know I mean? We never, I never really took the time to like really uh, get involved with like the history or anything like that. Um, but racially, um, do you guys, you guys tend to, uh, to like link up with African-Americans right in the pen, or you guys just kind of have always done your own thing. Because I myself was in a riot that started with others and ended with uh, African Americans and the others. Yeah, this was in Old Folsom. It was actually it made the news. But uh, and I've actually kind of always got that vibe. I don't know if it, it could have been because of like, and this is just from like just looking back, you know, retrospect type stuff, right? But like, you know, the Usos out here, the Islanders and stuff like that. Like, they just tend to have more of a closer bond that that is more familiar with you know that culture. And uh, so I don't know, I, I wanted to ask you where you were at, where you did your time and where you've uh, come up your whole life or whatever your understanding. Um, was it just always you guys just about the others or what did you guys ever racially um, ride with anybody or side with anybody over another race or anything? Okay, yeah. So again, that's, a, yeah, that's definitely a, um, a little nuance that differs from state to feds in the state. Usually the Asians who we, uh, or the others who we ride with is uh, probably more state-based because a lot of the Asians here or Islanders here grew up with um, a lot of ch uh, Chicano, local-based Chicano gangs and stuff like oh, that. Oh, so, I see. Okay, I yeah, see. They network in the, in the streets and they know each other from the streets. But in the, in the feds, we usually, our allies is usually natives. Okay, okay. Um, and as far as like, uh, like, like riots and stuff like that. Have you ever like had some issue come your way where you guys had to pop off and have each other's back and anything like that that you guys ever went through? Or was it kind of just, were you kind of guys able to kind of just like just handle business whenever it popped up on a more neutralized scale? Or have you ever been in a big riot is basically what I'm asking. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, there was, bas there was a bunch of riots that happened around us, but nothing pertaining to our car. We're, we're usually a, um, a peaceful car or a neutral car because we network with everybody, you know, and for all the places I've been to, whether it's state and feds, a lot of the guys, a lot of the other guys have the dope. So um, a lot of the dope was coming through them. So uh, all the other cars, they don't want to like sever that connection. So we never really had too much trouble, but we've had like personal trouble, like, you know, how prison is that might be a one-on-one -on -one or a couple of guys and, his homeboy might, you know, feel some type of way. And it usually gets handled it in some type of diplomatic channel because the other car will um, usually, you know, make sure their guys are in line. You know what I mean? So that's what yeah. it comes yeah. down to. But yeah, we've been in to some fights to where I think it was like a two on two. There's something on my channel that I, that I talk about all the time that happened where they, um, in the state, they put the Asians just in with everybody, all right? So um, every race, they'll put race in with race, but the others, they'll, they'll just throw you in with with uh, everybody, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that yeah, yeah, yeah. Was one time because they threw uh, my Laos homie into a, a cell with uh, a, a, black crip, a black crip, right? And so we went to the chow hall, and um, when we went to the chow hall, somebody told us, a little birdie came by and told us that, you know, that guy and his buddy was moving a lot of his property into another cell because they was going to play it off like uh, that it got stolen. They wasn't even going to admit to it. They wasn't going to be a man about it or nothing. But all so bad. Just, all bad. Yeah, all bad. Yeah, all bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that got kind of got us into some stuff. We went back, got some locks and socks ready and some shanks or whatever. And, you know, we was about to go up there and start mixing these dudes. But I guess there was a black guy pulled me to the side. He was like, you know, hold on. We're aware of the situation. That's right. He went and related to the um, 
to the, the black rep at that time. And he was a leader of the Morris science also. And he was like, listen, we'll take care of it, but we don't want any of the others jumping on another black. Right. And so they violated the guy and all that, but what, and we got the stuff back. I personally went and got the stuff back from him, but you know, the guy was salty. He, he wound up beating up the guys that the black car sent in to go violate him. You know, he had, yeah, he had hands. He was some young, dumb kid from the street that actually had hands beat up all the guys. And then he was salty about the situation. And he was like, well, I still want to fight this other guy. And so, um, I mean, we set it up to, I mean, both of them wouldn't stop. Even our guy, the Laos guy, he was like, no, I, I want to fight this guy. I want to save yeah, face. That's his stuff. Yeah, that's his stuff. Yeah. So, you know, we set it up to where it happened into a, a, a closet. They got into a little, um, a little one-on-one -on -one fight. We laid down the rules, no boots. First one to get knocked out and, or who says that quits. Just an old fashioned fight. You know, it never yeah, yeah, really yeah. happens like that, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was rare though, you know. That's cool though, man. That's cool. You could, you know, got the stand up fade or whatever. Everyone, you feel uh, played, you get paid. You know what I mean? You're going to get paid. Yeah. But uh, uh, that's 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 crazy, man. Uh, man, for some reason, I feel like I could just listen to you talk all day, man. I gotta just throw that out there, man. Hey, your channel, uh, your channel should be getting a lot more action than it's getting, bro. Yeah. You know? Um. What? What's, the reason why that is, up, you know, others they're ju they're just not that popular, you know. And 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 I'm being honest in that about that. Just in American culture, you know, we think about others or Asians. We think about. Chinese buffets at 12 o'clock noon, all you can eat. And, um, you know, <laughs> just so this character. Dumb. But, you dumb, know. <laughs> but it's all good. But, you know, we have same struggles just as everybody else. And uh, I would like to say that from my experience, I was glad to be other in, in prison, especially because I was able to network and talk to everybody. I didn't have this staunch yeah. rule here. I can't talk to everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, that's a that's a beautiful thing to be able to have that, man. I end up getting that towards the end of my term, you know, that that that, that freedom to uh, conduct business and move how I wanted to do. And you know, people will people will socially, and, and in your little your circle and anyone who knows you will uh, uh, label you the worst kind of person for wanting that, for wanting that action as a man to move, hustle, shuck, jive with whoever you choose to do that with. So that's that is a pretty cool uh, perk right there. But uh, actually, you'll be surprised, man. Um, you'll be surprised. I get a lot of questions in the comments, always asking about the other car, man. A lot of people have shown interest, at least on my channel, they have. So hopefully when I drop your link, um, the, what's the name of your channel, man? Uh, Count Time. Count Time, right? So anybody who is subscribed to me, we're going to take a second real quick. Go run over to this man's channel. Get, check out his content, man. It's all good A1 content. I'll have his link to his channel in the description below. But uh, definitely go subscribe and hit that bell notification for him, man. Stay tuned in with my boy. This channel is going to be on the rise, man. You can't stop. But uh, uh, look, man, uh, before we end up closing right here, how long have we been on? I'm not even sure. Uh, before we end because this is good, man. I kind of want to do a part two. But uh, um. I don't know. So you guys, one question I have before we close to everybody. Um, is there like a set like rule of what races can claim other or can anybody be an other if they in their heart feel they don't want they are running with the others? You know, if they feel like that's who they feel close to or or anything like that. Or do they have to have some kind of uh, um, blood that is of uh, what what blood is net, uh, like the necessity to be? labeled that yeah no man uh to be honest we're a real accepting car i mean you know we'll get down and ride just like anybody else but as far we don't look we you know that would be like hypocrisy because you know we're we're the minority in prison that, that would be like a hypocrisy if we didn't you know accept anybody because there's some people that just grow up in asian or other islander communities and that's all they know so you know, if that's what they run, want to roll, you know, we got them. I've, I've met um, some black others just because he was from Hawaii. Uh, I met a Chicano um, other uh, that rode other because he was a Chicano from uh, Cali that rolled TRG. 
And so, and a, and a Russian guy that rolled with the Vietnamese in Cali, so that's why he rolled um, other in the feds. But yeah, we, we accept anybody, but you know, we do say there is kind of like an un, unlying thing that we say is, man, if, you know, if you're gonna stand with us, you gotta stand with us, because if you don't, we're not gonna stand with you. But, that's but, right. You know, that's right. Not anybody, but yeah, we stand and with which, you. Which, which time was harder? Which time was harder, feds or state? Um, For me, feds <laughs> definitely yeah. feds it, it, it definitely goes down in feds it goes down in colorado but um there's a lot more lone wolfing stuff that happens in this state i mean it still goes down and chomos are getting killed and all this other stuff but feds is where the structure is at and i've never heard of anybody rolling um lone wolf in the feds yeah yeah no i hear what you're saying man i hear what you're saying all right, man. Hey, well, thanks for coming on the channel. Um, thanks for having wanna, me, man. Yeah, my pleasure, man. You want to pull me on your channel ever? Just let me know, man. We'll set something up. I'll come on your channel. But uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Think you got, you're sitting on a gold mine with this channel, man. And I hope everyone that's watching can subscribe, man, and hear you out, man. I appreciate that, man. Hell yeah. All right, Savages. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll be dropping some fire content all week. Next week, I got some pretty hot stuff for you. But uh, until the next time, doses.